Hello again, cat fans. Today we have two smart, supposedly smart balls that can be played with by cats and possibly dogs as well. This one here, both of these came from AliExpress, so they're all damaged, you know, they just came in a bag. This one actually has all the approval to indicate that it's not going to just spontaneously explode. Alright, it's quite small, which I think is good for a cat, because, you know, if it's too big, they're not going to want to attack it. Comes with some instructions. So, that's German, I was to stick with this. Alright, I read it if you don't feel like reading it. And you hold it for three seconds, turns it on, and there's three modes. It's just moving. Normal is blue, move and jump. Purple is passive, only for jumping. Interesting. It's going to play for five minutes, and then it'll just sit there for 30 minutes, unless the cat or you touch it. Then it'll play for another five minutes. If the red light comes on, that means it needs to be charged, or if it's not on, it's probably dead. And it might take an hour to fully charge it. It's flashing red right now, it's just charging, and then I guess it's going to turn green when it's done. It weighs 42 grams, okay. Let's move on to the next one while this thing is charging. This one says Chirping Ball, uh, 12 grams, so very light, 50 millimeter diameter. Uh, this one doesn't have any sort of cable, so this just has like a disposable battery I guess in there, and this is what's going to activate it I hope I don't know if that thing so I don't know if I just tore that plastic thing and didn't actually get the battery out I don't think it it tore properly <laughs> I think it's still in there uh, so that's kind of stupid right you know if you're gonna have a tear away make sure it tears away but it this literally tore in half and I'm pretty sure it's still insulating the battery because it's not making any noise. Now I have to sit here and destroy this product because it's poorly designed or poorly executed. Uh, this is foam, which would be good for the cat to chew on, but uh, it's already garbage. Let's see if I don't think it's meant to ever come apart, right, without being destroyed. So I guess I'm gonna have to probably cut it in half and maybe glue the foam back together. So I'm gonna just cut this right here. Wow, that went all the way. Okay. So, I guess you don't have to cut it. How am I supposed to know, right? It just come. It's just like a cylinder in here. Uh, but now I still got to get the plastic thing out. Yeah, this is. I don't think it's meant to ever be serviced or replaced. It's got two little coin batteries, and there it is. It's a clear plastic thing. Uh, so I get some pliers and try to get that thing out. There. Now it should chirp, and it does. Alright, so I'm going to crazy glue this back together. Alright, so while that thing's drying... Seems like there's three sounds, but they do sound like a bird to me. Alright, it would be cool if there was like maybe a little hole or something so you could pull this out right uh oh well all right we're gonna just go with this for now let's see what happens with the cats so i think i already know the problem with this ball all it does is make noise but it doesn't actually move or anything like that so yep those this cat and that black cat over here no interest because it doesn't move. Just making noise isn't going to make a cat play with it. Okay, so <laughs> that was a complete waste of money. It was cheap though. So let's try this, this smarter one which should move. So it did charge the green. 
And there's blue, normal mode. Oh, see, now the cat is now interested because it's moving. It looks very spacey. Well, that thing will go pretty fast on its own. And yeah, this cat at least is interested. What I'm thinking is if I put it into the fabric bag that I reviewed before, then it might really get their interest. All right, let's try maybe a different mode. Whoa, whoa, this purple moon. It's crazy. <laughs> that ball goes crazy. be too crazy for these cats though. See, it's not interested. I think it's, you know, too loud. So it's just on the blue mode, but it doesn't have the power to roll around inside that bag. Yeah, it's just not going to work inside that uh, bag. It doesn't have the traction or something. It is rubbery though on the outside. It's not smooth. So I think it's just going to have to be on its own like as a rolling thing, but it's I don't think cats really want to play with balls like, like that. That thing takes off. Oh, it could be wrong though. It is chasing it. We'll see. It does bounce quite violently. Well, so I would say both of these balls really aren't going to keep your cats entertained. The older black cat hasn't even left. It's just, it got up. <laughs> but has no interest in either of these things. So, and now that bird thing does it. That thing doesn't even make any noise. So, you know, it's brand new. So I think you should save your money. Don't buy these things. Learn from your mistakes. Take care.